Hi, this is John McDermott, and today I'd like to talk about creating strong passwords now. It turns out that the old rules that we've followed since 2003 or before have been wrong. Those old rules focused on length and complexity of the password, making sure we had upper and lower case letters, digits, special characters, and all that, because they were designed to help prevent guessing by humans, by slow computers, and also to make shoulder surfing difficult. That is, if people watched you type it in, it would be hard for them to figure out what you typed. But those rules are now outdated. Even according to the person who created those rules, Bill Burr of the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology, and NIST, and Microsoft agree that these rules are outdated. So let's look at what kind of new rules we ought to follow and how to do that. So why are the old rules out of date and what should we do? Well, the reason the old rules are out of date is because the threats are out of date. The new threats are faster computers that hack better, large disclosures of passwords from important large websites, phishing attacks where people are tricked into disclosing their password, and a big one is people writing passwords down on their desk or somewhere around it. Now look, whatever countermeasures we deploy have to match the kind of threats that we see. We can't just deploy a countermeasure because it sounds good we have to deploy it against a real threat. That's why, for example, we're including in our new rules making passwords more usable. That is, among other things, easier to remember because we don't want people to write them down. So here are some of the new rules that users will see as part of the password policies now. There are some other ones that system administrators will see. But for users, some of the things that are important are use a longer password. Yes, Microsoft and NIST say at least eight characters, but the new maximum is 64, or the new minimum maximum, or whatever, is 64. And a lot of sites are now recommending 16 or more. Use a passphrase like chocolate cake tastes good, rather than just chocolate. Two-factor authentication is good, but not using SMS with your phone, because that can be hacked. Your password will be checked against dictionaries and lists of exposed ones, so be sure to pick something unique. Nothing related to you, though, about your username, your personal name, your phone number, your government ID like Social Security. But there are no character set rules. No more pick one from each of these sets. No more periodic changes unless there's a need. So no monthly change. And by all means, use a password keeper. I have been for years and I recommend it to everyone. Software that keeps track of your passwords in an encrypted file, not a spreadsheet. There are a lot more to these new rules than we can cover in a short video like this. So here are the two sources where you can go to get good guidance about how to make good passwords, number one, and number two, for system and website administrators to follow the new rules and recommendations for passwords. Thank you, and I hope this has helped encourage you to make better passwords with the new rules.